In his rookie season, Kevin Scott saw limited action. He didn't get a chance to play in every game. And when he did play, he showed out. He showed NFL teams what he could do. Now he can use it to his advantage this offseason. But despite the fact that he did contribute some to the 49ers, they only gave him a one-year contract. So as of now, Kevin Scott is an unrestricted free agent. Kevin Scott finished his rookie season with 33 receptions for just under 500 yards and five touchdowns, averaging 13 and a half yards per catch. Now it's not great numbers, but for the time that he had, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. But the former Alabama State Hornet wants to go to a place where he knows he can contribute more, where he knows he'll be appreciated more. But what would that place be? Who's going to bite? Who's going to give him the money he wants? It's not like he's going to be worth a lot anyway. I say just under $10 million, if that. And I'm not talking about annual salary. I'm talking about total salary for contract. So Kevin Scott is currently looking for a new home, a new place where he can show his skills and show his talents. Now remember, Kevin Scott finished fourth in the Offensive Rookie of the Year voters. His former teammate, Tenard Watson, starting quarterback for the 49ers, won Offensive Rookie of the Year. So offseason is underway, free agency is underway. Now remember, Kevin Scott is looking for a new home, and he wants at least $8.12 million. So the Buccaneers are talking to him now. They remember what he did during the preseason. They're going to offer him $7.38 million with a signing bonus of $1.20 million. So they submit the offer. It's out. Now it's up to Kevin Scott. So we're going to advance to 10 days into free agency to see what happens. Now Kevin Scott is looking for a place where he can contribute more. And he wants to play more. That's the, mo that's the biggest thing. It's surprising that he didn't get to play much out there in San Francisco. Considering that they needed some help at wide receiver. But it could be a better opportunity down there in Tampa Bay. So 28 days left in free agency. We're still waiting on Kevin Scott to respond to this contract offer. It's what? Just under $8 million or just over $7 million? It's not much. Definitely not what it would be in today's times. Because remember, Cash is getting like 20, what, 15, 20 million a year now. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Scott has officially left the San Francisco 49ers. He is now a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. And what does that mean? He's reunited with two of his former college teammates. Gene Speedy Singleton, who got drafted 117 overall by Tampa Bay this past draft, along with Jesse Smith, the left guard from Alabama State as well. So the stage is set now. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are looking to get young. They're young at quarterback. They have John David Booty, the former USC Trojan. Carnell Williams is still there. D'Angelo Williams is still there. And then, of course, Gene Speedy Singleton will be third string. And now you add Kevin Scott. This offense has the potential to be very explosive, especially within the next three seasons. With the addition of Gene Speedy Singleton backing up Carnell and D'Angelo, because we know Carnell has been injury prone throughout this process, as well as D'Angelo Williams at times. But then also you got Kevin Scott, who's looking to be a valuable asset. And there goes Jesse Smith. Will he somehow be able to make the playing field? So look at Gene Speedy Singleton, training camp is underway. There he is, the former Heisman Trophy winner, taking the ball up the right side and getting past just the 15-yard line. So here's the plan for the rest of this series. We want to see what these HBCU schools look like when we transport draft classes to the NFL. We're not going to play every game, but we're going to play as many as we can because we got to make sure it stays in sync with the Alabama State Dynasty. Now remember, we're still going to cover other HBCU schools. We're still going to keep up with Ken King. We can't let him go out like that. The Chicago Bears, they've ended their season at 6-10. Remember, at one point, Chicago was 5-2. Look at Gene Speedy Seeker to take that to the crib, though. That man beasting out there on that training field. Look at him again. That man going to be a monster when it's his time to start. We, uh, we don't know how long Cardinal Williams will be in the league. Remember, we just gave him a four-year contract, as well as D'Angelo Williams. So we're going to be 
releasing these videos right here probably once a week now now that we've caught up we got gene in the oh lord have mercy jesus dang gene don't do him like that i told y'all his break tackle rating is very underrated it's 81 overall remember it was in the 90s and uh ncaa 06 but anyway lord have mercy he fumbled the ball let me get back on topic now remember we're going to release this once a week it will be multiple games once again we're not going to cover every game but we just want to see the progress of these players don't and I, how can i forget about justin chambers though of course we're going to keep up with you oh look at that right there look at james speedy singleton running that man over but remember we also got to keep up with justin chambers now the Patriots took a big blow at running back during the offseason and but this could benefit Justin Chambers in his NFL career considering he has what two more seasons now with the Patriots before his contract is up so now we have to remember we got to make sure we get him his carries we got to make sure Justin Chambers get right as well so Gene Speedy Singleton looking good in training camp Gene with the increase of the carry is already at an 80 overall to start off preseason in his rookie season That is pretty good The biggest goal we have for Gene Speedy Singleton is to learn from Carnell Williams and uh, D'Angelo Williams But if one of those two get injured, we might end up trading them So there goes our first look at the new Tampa Bay Buccaneer Signing as a free agent from the San Francisco 49ers, Kevin Scott. Kevin Scott is looking to make an immediate impact for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Coming off fourth place voting in rookie in office of rookie of the year, excuse me. He's looking to add on to that. He's even looking to have a bigger role. But that comes with time. For well, despite the fact that he has a three-year contract now, he still has to improve. He still needs more playing time. He still needs more experience. Because the best player, well, the best wide receiver on this team is former LSU wide receiver national champion Michael Clayton. Now, if you don't remember Michael Clayton, he was drafted in the first round in real life by Tampa Bay. He was, uh, he was a national champion with the LSU Tigers. I believe that was Nick Saban's first title, one and only title with LSU before he left for the Miami Dolphins. Yeah. And, of course, you know, Swagoo Marcus Spears was on that team. I'll never forget that pick six Marcus Spears got in that national championship game versus Oklahoma. He was at the line of scrimmage. As soon as the quarterback threw the pass, he jumped under the end and picked it off right there. And he ran it back for a pick six. And I believe they went up 21-7 to after that. And the rest of the way, it was a rout. So there goes Kevin Scott. We improve his catching. He's now 78 with catching. Eventually, he'll be in the 80s. And he's going to be a beast this season. 